Hey, what's up you guys? It's Sydney and welcome to Books My Quiet Friends. Uh, if you're just joining, hi! Welcome to this awkwardness that is my reading experience. Uh, and if you've been here before, thanks for coming back! I mean, so today I'm going to be doing my January wrap-up. I read seven books in the month of January, which is kind of a big deal for me. I usually read four to five. Uh, one of them I'm still 100 pages shy of being done, but I mean like it's gonna get done today and it's the 28th while I'm filming this so I know it's gonna be finished before the end I'm counting it so I'm gonna start with the books that I read first this month and then follow all the way through to the end of the month the first book I read this month was a torch against the night by Sabbath to here and this is the second book in an ember in the ashes series I'm gonna say uh, so I read the first book and it was very hyped on booktube. Everyone was talking about it, they were saying that it was one of the best fantasy books of the year, they were really really enjoying it, and that's great. I thought it was okay, I wasn't blown away or anything, but the second installment was amazing. I really enjoyed it so much more than the first book. I gave it four to five stars just because some parts for me were dragging and some of the perspectives I found weren't as interesting as the one I really wanted to know about. Uh, I'm trying not to give anything away because this is a second book in the series. The first book follows, I'm going to say, Leia and Elias and Helene. I've heard people call her Helen and Helene. And it's kind of like a Roman Empire society historical thing, but with some magical elements. So this book really took the magical level to the next tier. I thought it was really interesting. Uh, I'm excited to see where this series goes for sure and I am definitely in it for the long haul at this point. <laughs> the next book I read was Deep Blue by Jennifer Donnelly. Uh, this book. This book. I did not like this book as you can probably tell. I have jot notes behind me on my laptop so I'll pull up some stuff. But I didn't like it. I thought it was too childish. The premise was very interesting. The idea of a world with mermaids and everything like that. But overall, it just fell flat for me. I thought there were a lot of ideas that just weren't fully fleshed out or could have been fleshed out better. There was slight suspense, but not enough to keep me holding on for Rogue Wave, which is the second book in this series. Um, yeah, it's... <laughs> I don't know how to describe it, so maybe I'll just read the back. It says it's rich with mythology, uh, <laughs> adventure and danger, romance and friendship, and theme, both classic and contemporary. Uh, I didn't like it. I thought it was mediocre. If you're younger, you might like this book. I think, like, people 13 to 14 might like it, but for me, I, I'm old <laughs> enough that nothing stood out, so I will not be continuing with this series. And I gave this book 1.5 out of 5 stars, which is the lowest rating I've ever given. Sorry, not sorry. The next book I continued this month with was More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera. <laughs> this book is a contemporary with some science fiction futuristic things in it. It's about a character named Aaron. <laughs> who is living in the projects and about his summer and his girlfriend and his friends and the life he's living. Along with that, we also know about a, an institute where you can have your memories taken away. Uh, after a tragedy, Aaron is kind of trying to like fuddle his way through life and figure some things out for himself. So I'm very interested to read more by Adam Silvera because this book was very heart-wrenching. Uh, the ending broke me. I cried probably for a good half an hour just because like how can you end a book like that but also he has an amazing point and I thought that this book was incredible and I gave this book four out of five stars the next book I read this month was The Miserable Mill by Lemony Snicket so I am slowly but surely working my way through a series of unfortunate events I had read the first five books I think when I was much younger probably 12 and I really enjoyed them but as an adult, while I'm rereading them, I'm finding so many things that I missed or did not understand. His writing is so comical and so interesting. It goes on tangents that you just don't expect, but still keeps you interested in the storyline overall. Uh, this installment in particular I found was a really quick read. Wasn't my favorite, wasn't my least favorite. I gave it four out of five stars. 
I thought it was interesting and it kept me interested in the Baudelaire's, Baudelaire's, Baudelaire's story. I pronounce things wrong, but yeah. So yeah, I plan on watching the TV show, but I want to finish the whole series overall first because I've heard some things that are not so great, like things showing up too early, and I want to be sure that I don't spoil myself for the books. After that, I read The Austere Academy, Austere, Austere, I don't know, <laughs> Academy by Lemony Snicket, and this is the fifth book in a series of unfortunate events. Uh, I like this one way more. I gave it five out of five stars. I thought it was awesome. Uh, I think that the story really changes in this book. It starts to become something a lot darker as we find out more about the past and we see the Baudelaire's in a different in a different light. As well, Count Olaf, I mean, he's a villain for the books. You can't you can't have a villain like Count Olaf and not love to hate him. He's evil but treacherous and horrible but conniving and crazy. Like just Ah, uh, Lemony Snicket. You leave me lost for words. The next book I completed this month was Walk on Earth, A Stranger by Ray Carson. This book is a historical fiction about a girl who can sense gold during the gold rush. And it's kind of about who can you trust and who can you not trust. But I thought it was a lot more historical, historical fiction than magical, which I really enjoyed. I was kind of worried that the fantasy aspect of it all would kind of overwhelm everything in the history, but I think it stayed really true to its roots. I thought it was interesting to see how people in this society um, had different lifestyles. As a girl, she had a different lifestyle for sure because women's rights weren't hugely followed or given as well as her friend in this story is half Cherokee and I think half Irish. So it's interesting to see how he's treated throughout the book. It's sad, but interesting. Uh, I then lent this book to my mom and she adored it. She <laughs> cannot wait for me to order the next one and we're gonna finish the trilogy hopefully together. Yeah, I gave this book four out of five. It was enjoyable, didn't blow me away though. And the last book I'm going to talk about today is Simon vs. the Homo Sapien Agenda by Becky Albertalli. Albert Albert Alley. If you've been here long enough, you know this is normal. So I'm about 100 pages away from being done. I was going to finish this before I started filming, but I kind of worried that then I would just put off filming forever and pick up another book. So yeah, I hope to finish this soon. I'm enjoying it. I think I'm probably going to give it around four to five stars. I'll keep you posted next month for sure about what I end up giving it. Or you can follow my blog and below and you'll find out things there as well. Uh, yeah, I thought this, I think this book, I thought, I think this book is very interesting. It's about a boy named Simon, duh, who is in the closet and about him being blackmailed by a fellow student. Um, yeah, it's very interesting. It's unlike anything I've ever read. It's funny, but not too funny. And it's also heart wrenching to see Simon kind of flounder his way through high school and as someone who didn't have a perfect high school experience I totally see where he's coming from <laughs> with the drama and the madness and friends and tables and cafeterias Ugh, I don't particularly miss that so thanks for watching if you have any questions or comments or have read any of the, these books please leave them down below uh, if you like this video <laughs> give it a thumbs up and I will leave all the information for these books down below as long as, as well as a link to Book Depository. So if you're interested in buying these books, they ship free worldwide. I'm not sponsored, I just love them because free shipping is amazing in this day and age. Uh, thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye!